Hello everybody, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription box. In case you're interested in this box, I'm going to leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. And I'm also going to leave individual links to the materials I get in this box in case you just want a few things but not everything in the box. Now, I still have not got to do a tutorial with last month's box. I haven't even opened it and gone through it yet because I've had so much going on. And last night I was actually working on five projects for a tutorial that I need to film today. But anyways, I do plan on doing a tutorial with last month's box unless something happens. But did you guys see the tutorial that I did with not last month's box, but the month before? It was an awesome design. I'll put a picture up now in case you missed it. Alright, so go and watch that video because that was an asymmetrical asymmetrical design and um, I've always been a very symmetrical person but I have always wanted to do asymmetry and I thought that I did a pretty good job for like my first time of doing a design like that. Alright, so let's open this. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I should have got something to pry it with. I think this box is glued shut. Okay, there we go. Oh, those are beautiful. Look at those. Right, what's the thing? The Joy of Creativity. April's box. Okay, 26 items as usual. Alright, now I used to go over this, but I stopped because you guys asked me to link materials that I get in a box into the description bar. And so, since that takes forever, I stopped reading over the list. But I pretty much know what a lot of these beads are in the box. Okay, so, first off, these here are awesome. I've got these before, and I used them... In a tutorial, I made a pair of earrings and a matching pendant. That was such a simple project, but it turned out to be so beautiful, and I actually wish I was able to make more, because it's too pretty to just have one, one set, so I'll put a picture up. Right, so these are Czech cubes, and they are perfectly made. They are better, in my opinion, than Miyuki because I've used Miyuki cubes to make another pair of earrings. I'll put a picture up for those. And the Miyuki cubes aren't perfectly square. They're like short on one side, long on the other side. And so that makes it hard to weave with. But these here are perfect little, little squares, little cubes. And um, I love weaving with these. Okay, so those are awesome. And then we have Chick Fire Posh beads. Both of what, by the way, these are both from the chalk line. This is the the pink and the blue. These are some of my most favorite colors in Chick Lass. These are six millimeter. I think I have this color in uh, two whole round duos. I actually wondering if this has an additional coating on it. It kind of looks like there might be a luster on it. Because look at how pearly it looks. Yeah, it's extremely shiny. So that might have a luster over it. Because, you know, these days they put coatings on the coatings with an extra coating making the beads really extravagant so oh my gosh so <sighs> bohem style box last month unbelievable design with a bead just like this but different color I'll put a picture up for that that project was like nothing I've ever seen before. It totally stood out. It was so unique, so gorgeous. I love stuff like that. Things that are so unique, nobody else has. It's just like incredible. So there it is. 
isn't that amazing? It looks like a fossil to me, like some kind of a fossilized ocean critter. There's this um, one snail. I can't remember if it's a turbo snail, but it has like a flap door. It's made out of shell, but when the snail dies, the little door actually falls off. Anyways, I used to find them in the water, and I ended up realizing that it was from the little door of the, I think it's a turbo snail. So that's an awesome feed. So cool. And then, oh wow. Um, this isn't the blue green one. This looks gray. This might be a new color or a color I've never seen before. This also looks like luster. This looks like gray. I've never seen this. And also it looks like there's luster on it. It's really pretty. It kind of looks like stone. See how it has like a mirror finish on it? That's why I think it looks like luster. Okay, those are awesome. And then, wow, I've had nail polish like this before. It is pink, but it has like a purple glow to it. And they're matte, very unique. This is a new color, never seen this before. Did I get them all? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I hope this is showing up on camera. Have you guys seen the fuchsia pink nail polishes and when you turn your nails it has like a purple like shimmer to it that's what these look like they're incredible and again that is a six millimeter bead I like it with the blue purple got to be used with this though to bring out the purple yeah so hopefully there's some nice purple in here okay Oh my gosh. Okay, so these were in last month's necklace in the black. Oh, and the color, by the way, the color, when I went to the website, I ended up finding out that it was not dicrylic, the color that was on those beads. It was actually slipper it. And that's why it looks so amazing. It's on matte black. They're so darn cool. So I actually think this bead is a white bead. There's travertine over it, and then they do this blue wash. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then this one's different. Wow. This is a milky? Yeah, this is like milk glass with a like gray over it, but it's like a metallic y looking. Almost like a hematite. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Those are beautiful. Okay, and what's this? These are three millimeter. Check fire polish beads. This is silver Picasso. It looks like it. You'll see. I got the dark, or the, yeah, dark blue. Three millimeter check fire polish beads from this store, Craftica in the past and it had silver on it so do you see it it's actually prettier than the regular so turquoise picasso with silver i hope it's showing up well it's absolutely it looks like there's pyrite in it like if this was a gemstone yeah those are gorgeous I don't think that I've actually ever seen it in um, turquoise, though. So. I've seen it also in red. Red Picasso is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this color so much. Those are beautiful. Again, this is a three millimeter. This is three millimeter. This is part of the chalk line. 
This bead's actually white and they put this permanent finish over it. So these here, there's also a purple one in this. And what else was this? I'm trying to remember. There's a, a the color almost looks beige. It's like a cream beige color. This is so gorgeous. And I swear there's luster on this too. It's extra shiny, sparkly. See that? Those are amazing. Okay, and then trilobites. Yes. So I did just recently buy trilobites. And I filmed the haul video and I was working on editing it. Hopefully I can get it up before this video, but I don't know. I'll see. I do have most of it edited. I have to go over it again. These are gorgeous. This is AB on it. I didn't see that in the bag. Yeah. So I think this is a solid blue opaque color. And they have AB on it. And also I swear there's like luster on it too because it's so shiny. Beautiful. These beads are expensive. The ones I got are periwinkle blue with a pink wash. And it was, I thought it was like a dollar a bead. And I ended up getting it on a clearance. Oh, I don't remember how much I got it for. I'll, I'll say it in the video if you go to watch the whole video. Okay, and then... This is, I swear this is the one that I used last time. Or was it this one? To make those earrings. It's so neat. I do prefer this one though. Because I just love that pink. Actually, maybe I used this in something else. I don't know. I gotta go through my pictures. I can't remember. This bead is actually like a white travertine, and then there's this pink wash over it. If you look at the whole of the bead, you can see that it's white inside. It's really cool. Okay, I gotta go through this. Oh, look at that. So this bead here, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous in that color. This is called a tea bead. T-E-E. -E. Not E-A. E-E. -E. I've mostly seen these in weaving projects. That is so gorgeous. Never get tired of the iris color. It's a blue iris, that's what that is. Right there absolutely gorgeous and it does not look good on camera at all it looks terrible in pictures it just looks amazing in real life it's always i've always had a hard time taking pictures of that color and then this is not beige what is this it's like off white it's like bone color yeah i guess it's like bone there is a miyuki bone uh, seed bead. I have them in my stash in six O's. I use them to make cupcake earrings. I might have a picture of that. Anyways, it's this color and it's so beautiful. I love this color. It's called Bone in the Yuki. Isn't that pretty? I think these are five millimeter. Yeah, that's definitely six. That's probably a five. And that's a three. And then pinch beads. This is, I think, light, light sapphire color. What's going on with these, though? They look... Are, there, are these two-tone? Hmm, maybe. It looks like some are light, some are dark. There's something going on there. Like, there's two different shades of glass. 
I really like these pinch beads for stringing. I prefer them for stringing than to use them for weaving. Wow. This color here. I've only ever seen this color in two beads. I've seen this in Super Duos, which I own. And 6mm check Car Polish bead. I've never seen this color in any other bead, in any other bead until now. This is a, a half a pinch bead. It's a triangle, basically. It's pink with a gold, like, luster over it. It's really pretty. This does come in different shades. Because, like, I bought these in Super Duo. And they're like this shade here. And then at another time, I bought them. And when I got them, they were an orangey red pink. It was so bizarre. Kind of like this. Yeah. Like, these look amazing together. It's very beautiful. So this is one of those beads that's, like, hard to match. To other beads that are different shapes because the color is not consistent. And, wow. Oh, my gosh. So, there was the necklace we got in a Bohem style box. It had 8 millimeter. Um, check trucks like this and the bead is just not gold there is a light pink in this bead it's so gorgeous anyways I rebought them um, you'll see them in my haul video I love them so much it's an amazing color so here it is in a three millimeter lucerne bicone the same color it is so amazing it's like treasure it makes me think of treasure like Tutankhamun treasure something you would find on a pirate ship I hope it's showing up in the camera right now it just looks like a white bead with travertine on it but it is covered in gold it's really gold so beautiful man I wonder if they have or if they're going to put this on seed beads because like this on a 60 seed bead that would be to die for amazing those look great together and the green too okay we have a little flower bead now in my last tutorial that I did with the check beads exclusive box I took one of these flowers and I turned it into a slider and I used it on asymmetric knuckles. I was so excited that I figured that out because I've always wanted to use these flowers. I like using them for button closures, but to use them in a different way was really awesome. Okay, so that's pretty. Oh, this is part of the chalk line. This is the color I was talking about. It's um one before here. Yeah. Well, all together there's four. There's three here. Um, this is that cream color that I was talking about in the chalk line. There's also a purple. I wonder if they're going to have the purple in here. Wow, this is so cool. It's alien-like. It kind of looks like an egg, too. Um, I think I've seen this bead before, but with a wash on it. Oh my gosh. It also looks like an eye. Yeah. Why didn't I notice that before? I think that the sides look different. This side looks a little more pointier. This side a little more rounder. Yeah. Um, if this was matte, I mean, you could paint that because it kind of looks like an eyeball. And remember the tutorial I did with, it was with this box. I had a rose charm. I used it as a centerpiece and a macrame on the side. You can use this piece in that same design. I'll put a picture up now. So yeah, you can use this in macrame and you would do the cord on each side. All right. And then, wow, this is the prettiest one I've seen. And this is the purple that I'm talking about. Yes, of the chalk line that I love so much. This one's really dark. So every time I see this 
purple. Sometimes it'll be pale. Some, like I was just talking about these. Sometimes it'll be really pale purple or really dark. This one's really dark. Yeah, this is supposed to be a uh, feather bead, I think. But it also looks like a leaf, like a fern. That is so gorgeous. That's the prettiest color I have seen in this bead. So, yeah, all of these are from the chalk line. All of those. And I think there might also be another color. What was it? Here's another. This is a Marae, Crystal Marae. Oh, and I did use these in a pendant that I did in a tutorial for this box. So I'll put that up. But this is pretty much like a dagger. You could use this in place of daggers. It depends on the design. Bizarre. So this bead is clear. What? Oh wait. Maybe not. I, I think it's black. Usually this bead is clear, but it looks like it's black. Incredible the different effects that you can get by putting it on different colored beads. Because usually this is on clear. It's actually looking like black is the best background. For the slipper it and stuff colors. Okay, and then... Wow, wow, wow. What is that color? This looks like the... the Again, it's kind of like the chalk line. I swear the bead's white. There's like travertine on it with like this chalk blue color. But this also has like luster on it. It's really, really colorful and bright. It's absolutely gorgeous. It almost looks like it's turquoise Picasso, but it is not. No, the bead's actually white, and the, all this treatment is done to it. That is so beautiful. Wow. The luster is really putting it on another level there. Okay, what then? What's next? Oh my gosh. Good grief. I am going to have to add more stuff to my shopping cart. So, I think this is this. Or actually, it might be like this one. Hmm. I think it's like this one. Yeah, the bead is white. They do the travertine, which is like brown rust markings. And then the purple over top. That is so pretty. I swear this flower's smaller. Is it 8 millimeter? Oh, is the other box I had green ones in. That's really cute. I'll put that in the shopping cart. Those must be new. I did not see these on the website. I would have bought them. I would have bought them. This is the flower I was talking about earlier. An enemy flower. What was I trying to say about it? I could have been talking about this in the other video. This is my second video. I must be my third video after this video. So this is beige. This color is opaque all the way through with a gold wash. I have actually bought these before. They're really beautiful. It's super classy. Isn't that just stunning? It's gorgeous. Okay, I got a few more bags left. No way. So this is just like this one. Also like this one and that one. These here are actually made similarly. They're like, and that one too, even. But that one has gold.
Wow. So this one has copper on it. Yeah. Yeah, if you can look inside the hole, I swear the bead, yeah, definitely, is white. Then they put these fancy colors on them. Why does this bead seem cuter than the regular Hawaiian flower? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it smaller? I'm wondering if if it's an 8 millimeter. It's, like in the, it's usually like a 9 millimeter. It's not table cut. That is precious. I love both of those. All three of these, though, look great together. Okay, and then this again. So these two are actually the same. Okay? Now this one has another finish. This one has luster on it. So that's what this looked like before they put the luster on it. But like I said, they make them at different times. So it's like whenever you make a recipe, it doesn't always taste the same. There's always going to be something different. So see how the color is kind of different, right? It's really hard to find the same exact color. Three order the same color. So this is another cube. This is the third cube in this box. I like these two together. I should have got a drink. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I think that beat again is white, just like this, with the travertine and then the blue over it. And it's matte instead of having a luster. This one actually looks more grayish. Alright. So, like these. This is made. They're all very interesting box because they're all like similarly made. Like, even this. Like, these are like pretty much the same how they're made. Yeah. Okay. The color. That's what I'm talking about. No way. There's another one. Wow. They're so darn cute. I was actually hoping for a purple flower. It's another shade of blue. It's so pretty. I gotta put this up to the light. Now this one. This might not be white inside. Oh no, maybe it is. Look at how pretty. I like that it's like copper. I'm waiting for my camera to focus. Those are so darn gorgeous. I'm really obsessed with these little flowers. Here is everything we are getting in April's Check Beads exclusive box. And there are so many unique, rare looking beads in here. Colors I've never seen before. Like this one. This is so bizarre. It really does look like a nail polish that I used to have. And like these flowers are just adorable. I love those so much. Really unique. Very nice beads. And I just love this subscription so much. And remember, I'm going to link the check beads exclusive box down there below in the description bar if you want you can go and get it and I'm also going to link the individual beads you see here down there below in the description bar and again be on the lookout for more tutorials with this box because I do like making some really neat designs with this all right and this is it thank you so much for watching please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites I'm on Instagram Pinterest and Twitter thanks for watching